Namaste and welcome to Gridmasters. In this video, I would like to explain you how Gridmasters technology can help you to hold space, how it can benefit to you as a space holder. So whatever you're holding space for, maybe you're a teacher, maybe you organize ceremonies, maybe you teach something, maybe you're a yoga teacher, maybe you make people dance, maybe you you know, you have any kind of workshop where people practice art or healing or any kind of, you know, intentional activity. Well, in this case, you're considered to be a space holder. And what's a space holder? A space holder is someone that, well, is bringing a specific intention, a specific set of energies, of structures, of skills and resources. Well, to make sure that the unfolding of whatever is happening in the space, while well, is coherent, is safe, is you know efficient, and is going into the direction that is intended at the beginning. So when we hold space for people, well, you know it's not only to be present and to speak or to lead or to explain. Well, it's also our own energy that is embracing the whole group and that is holding it as a unit as a group mind or as a group entity. And this is how people, when they come to a space and there is a space holder, this is how you know, engaged they can feel, how safe they feel, how deep they can go. It all depends on the skills of the space holder to provide this safe container that brings enough resources so that the people can actually, well, fulfill their task or, you know, meet their needs or go deeper into the intention of the space. Grid masters can help you with that because when you create grids, well, you can truly embody a different set of skills or resources that will be supported by different intelligences of creation that will all know exactly what is your idea, what is your intention, and that they will work together and cooperate well, to help you bring the resources that are necessary for the space and the students or the people in your space to fulfill their needs and you know, to, well, to go towards the intention that you have for the space in a safe and deeper way. So you can create grids well, just to embody a specific set of qualities that you would like to be present in the space. And you can create as well a more you know, precise grids that have more specific intentions. Yeah, so grids to open the space, grids for specific activities, grids to actually close the space, grids for space integrity so that no interference will come to kind of, you know, disturb or distort what is going on there. And according to what your space holding is for, well, you can have specific grades that match specifically your intention or, you know, specific skills that are required. So let's say if it's artistic, you know, space, well, you can have grades for boosting creativity. If it's a healing space, well, you can have tools to support healing and release and trust and surrender. If it's maybe a more shamanic, kind of work or, you know, plant medicine, well, you can have specific grids for, you know, this kind of more multidimensional healing happening through this kind of specific spaces. If maybe you hold space for teaching something, well, you can have grids for people to have a good memory and to understand well what you say and for you to articulate well your teachings and your explanations. So this is something, these grids, that you would create before you hold space. Yeah? You would create it once when you're by yourself. And these grids could be applied and used during any event where you're holding space, at any given moment, just by you know, triggering, activating them, and you know, weaving them into the energetics of, of the space that you're holding, into your own energetics that you expand and stretch, well, to include all the people that are participating. What will happen is that you will bring a lot of new resources and new skills. You will bring a lot of coherence into the space. People will be able to tap into this coherent intentional field that you have designed beforehand. 
And therefore, they will feel that there is really a clear intention that is supported, that is well thought. They will feel that there is actually something behind this intention, that they are allies, that they are, there is support to, to make it easier for them to you know, fulfill whatever intention you have for them or whatever intention is the space for. So this will make it easier for you to simply focus on the fun of teaching or the fun of holding space or focusing on actually what's happening, the interaction with your students, because in the background, these grids will take care of integrity, harmony, grounding, providing any resources that you need. So you, you will not have to do it consciously during the time where you're holding space. You can delegate this to the grids because you did the work before and just let them run in the background, making sure that all these resources and connections are taking care of this kind of thing. And you can focus on the fun part of holding space or the part that for you matters, which is in your own unique expression of you know, who you are or interacting with you know, the people in your space dedicating more time to listening, feeling, sensing, or going deeper into silence, maybe. Well, whatever you want to do. But this can guarantee that your space is safe as a high level of integrity and that all the resources that you wish to be connected to this space are present and that they know what to do and that everyone can feel them. So that's how Grid Master Technology would help you to hold space. And you know, maybe it inspires you to connect to this teaching. If you feel the call to check it out, please visit www.gridmasters.art. Thank you.